all that power contained in the pole. Let's watch this again. Oh, right at the crucial part, obviously, when the stress is on the pole the most. There it goes. Luckily, the forward momentum carried him into the pit. Otherwise, it would have been a serious injury landing on the concrete just behind. What happens in this instance? I've never known. Do they actually get... The pole vault in, we have Borges from Cuba, whose uh, both routes are up to 5.35 now. Automatic qualifying is 5 meters 70. Oh my word, look at that. The pole snapped, and he's come out of that unscathed nonchalantly picks up two parts of the pole there's a third bit somewhere else i hope it didn't hit an official wow look at this just snapped about halfway down he's so lucky that that bit that flew off to the left didn't hit him oh my word thank goodness he had some forward momentum or he could have come right down into the the box in which they they plant the pole look at this again he's coming forward thankfully three parts it broke yeah. into that's fascinating it snapped first of all low down didn't it and then up two thirds up as well interestingly with these poles you can tell me more still perhaps because you know uh, uh, who, who makes entry into this qualifying competition they say that the bad workman always blames his tools woman team made the oh my god Cuban pole to Lazaro Borges had every reason to blame his today ouch <laughs> You okay? Most of the time, nothing bad happens, but occasionally something will happen, and uh, fortunately, it wasn't bad. Just coming off a hamstring and calf injury, and I was feeling really good, had a lot of energy. Guess I had too much energy that day. Uh, you'll notice the pole broke about two feet up from the bottom. Doug, after the pole breaks, check out the arm. Booyah, look at those fingers, it's, they're huge. Doug, smile for the camera. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 